Okay, Victory Seed was the second company I ordered from. And they sent me this uh, sheet of paper with some helpful information on it. And the first part is about storing seeds. And I don't know if you can read that or not with this video camera. I'll read it to you real quick. It says, keep seeds in a labeled container or envelope in a cool, dry place where they're protected from insects. Storage life of seeds varies widely. Here's a guide. Short-lived seeds, one to two years. Corn, onion, parsley, parsnip, and peppers. Intermediates, three to four years. Asparagus, uh, who grows asparagus from seed? They're crazy anyway. Bean, broccoli, carrot, celery, leek, pea, spinach. Long-lived seeds are four to five years, and they include beets, chard, cabbage family, which are Brussels sprouts and cauliflowers, etc. Turnip, radish, cucumber, eggplant, lettuce, mes musk, melon, pumpkin, squash, group, tomato, and watermelon. I would have never guessed some of those. And I thought broccoli was part of the cabbage family, but I guess I'm wrong. Um, and they say, ideally, to prepare seeds for long-term storage, place them in a seed packet in a jar, seal the jar tightly, place in the refrigerator. To help absorb moisture, place a small cloth-filled bag filled with dry powdered milk beneath the seed packets at the bottom of the jar, or use about half a cup of dry milk from a recently opened package. And then they go on to how to test for germination, and they suggest 25 to 50 seeds on a towel, which that's kind of crazy because some of the packets I got were only 25 to 50 seeds or 30 seeds. Um, and just to thank you on the back, saying by choosing to garden with these seeds, you're helping to continue their history because they're all heirloom seeds. So, so there we go. And let me dig them all out of the package, and we'll get going on what. Okay, these packages do not have pictures on them, so if you want to know what these are, you're going to have to kind of go look them up. So, the first thing I got is celery. The Amish grow celery around here. Um, all of them, I think, grow celery. This is one of the things that they use for their wedding dinners uh, for uh, when they get married. They only do... Tuesdays and Thursdays in November and December, but I think they've kind of squeezed into October a little bit because um, of the amount of people that are getting married. And they only do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So one of their meals that they serve for the traditional dinner includes a cream of celery. So they grow a lot of celery. And I've seen them at the, um, the plants at some of the greenhouses because I buy a lot of my seeds or my plants from the Amish greenhouses and they've done celery but I'm going to try to grow it from seed so we'll see how that turns out uh, I got a parsnip all American variety I got Cherokee purple tomatoes I got tomatillas because I like my salsa verde so I'm going to plan on making some of that and canning it and I got a pickling book for my mother-in-law for Christmas which I'll show you the awesome books that she got me for Christmas and one of the recipes in there is for green chili uh, San Marzano tomatoes Amish paste tomatoes and last year I saved some of my yellow brandy wines so I'll be growing those again I got a Williams Naked Seeded Pumpkin. They have no hull on them, so they're just the seed. So we're going to try them. I got, hold on. We got all these packets to show you, so hang on a second here. I got a butternut winter squash. I got an acorn squash. I bought one of these at the grocery store the other day, and it was delish. Um, I got. Yes, you may take your train. I got pigeon peas. Actually, I got two packages of that because I like pigeon peas. And there's an awesome Spanish rice, Spanish, Mexican, I don't know which one it is, but it's a rice that they put pigeon peas in and olives and some chicken. It is so good, so I'm growing my own. Okay, sorry about that. My washing machine was going a little off kilter. I got some Brussels sprouts, Long Island approved. 
mine didn't grow very well this year, so I'm hoping maybe this next year they'll come out. Um, a red cabbage, a green cabbage. I'll maybe try to make some, uh, um, yeah, sauerkraut this year. Uh, this is a butterhead lettuce, and I got a romaine lettuce. So I'm trying to read these over the camera, and I'm thinking I'm in, I'm in video thing here. I got an atomic red carrot. I got royal chantonay, and I don't know which ones these are. These might be the ones that are just like, they get that big, but they get round. So they're the round, little round ones I thought would be nice in like with a roast. I got cosmic purple. I've got some spinach. I got Burt's beans. They said this was, I think I got two packs of these. Let's see. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. I got one one of these. This is a new variety that they had, and they expected them to sell out soon. So I got a pack of these, and I thought I had gotten two, thinking they were going to sell them out. But I don't know what I did with the I did or not. I guess I could look on my list. I don't. It doesn't matter. Um, then I got these peas. They're tall telephone peas. And then I got, I believe they're a pole variety. Uh, I got California Black Eye number fives because they they had a different Black Eye P, and I want to say it was like 22 or something the number of it was. But these were a faster P, a faster growing P. So I bought those. These these were um, mature faster. And I got six week brown eye. Another pea or a cow pea. And then I got some collard greens. I like collard greens. They kind of are like spinach, just a little, I don't know. They're not, like a spinach leaves are a little more delicate than these, but I like the taste of these. Um, I got a yellow bush scallop. They're just, they're kind of like the pat of pans. And those are the yellow ones. And then I got the green tint. Also, and I got the white scallop. And if anything, people around here in Pennsylvania will buy these things to decorate. They're outside their houses, so I can always sell these if I need to. Um, I got homemade pickles and maybe get some money back to pay for my seeds. Won't that be nice? I got kale, and I bought this mainly for my chickens. But then I got, I have a juicer coming, so I'm going to try um, doing some juice drinks and using some of the stuff that I grow, like the kale and stuff. I got serranos, so when I make my chilies and stuff, I'll have some peppers. And I also got poblanos. So that's all I got so far. Now, as you can see here, I didn't pick up any corn, and I didn't pick up any of my uh, bush beans. I like to do a yellow wax bean and I like to do a green, regular green bean. And I'll just get them local. And my potatoes, I'll get local. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's kind of plenty to grow. And I, I expanded my garden. So everybody, you know, if you've been following me, you know that I have now a 60 by 60 plus a 25 by 50 plot. And I'll be putting things in both of those areas. And I found a um, an online garden planner, which I will be showing you in another video. Uh, it's really, it's interesting because I can put in there, you know, how much I want to grow and it shows you and it lays it all out so you have everything in front of you. And I like to plan. So my garden without a plan is just going to be a nightmare so that's that's what i'm going to do this year last year i just did it on paper now i can put it on on the computer and it'll probably work out a little bit better so there we go that's my seeds and 
check back because I will go through the catalog, Baker Creek catalog with you, and um, then I'll show you this other program that I'm going to be using to plant my garden out. See you later, YouTube. Keep warm.